Harry flies solo as Meghan Markle swerves Beckham football match amid feud rumors. Prince Harry was spotted fanboying over Lionel Messi at the star-studded game between Los Angeles Football Club and David Beckham's Inter Miami, but Meghan Markle was nowhere to be seen. Welcome to Royal Expert if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. Meghan Markle reportedly skipped joining husband Prince Harry for a night out at the football, despite having been invited to the star-studded match. Harry was in the crowd at the BMO Stadium in Los Angeles to watch Inter Miami's victory over Los Angeles Football Club last night, and was even spotted fanboying over Lionel Messi on live TV. The stands were full of A-listers, including Lafcona Will Ferrell, as well as Leonardo DiCaprio, Owen Wilson, Selena Gomez and Jason Sudeikis. Inter Miami owner David Beckham was also there alongside his oldest son Brooklyn and daughter-in-law Nicola Peltz. Before kickoff, a list of notable attendees was distributed that showed Harry and Meghan would both be at the game. However, Meghan was nowhere to be seen and did not appear to join Harry in the stands. In addition, all of those on the list had their jobs listed next to their names, except the Sussexes, who were just referred to as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. During Harry's outing at the game, he could be seen playfully screwing up his face and laughing while clutching a scarf. Harry looked to be thrilled to be at the match and previously revealed his love for sport in his memoir Spare, noting how he played football at Eton. He said, I played every dry sport, though rugby captured my heart. Harry's night out at the football comes just days after he and Meghan attended Beyoncé's show at the SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, on Friday. Meghan was seen wearing a white top and a sparkly skirt in the photos that have been shared on social media. She appeared to enjoy herself at the concert, clapping and dancing along in photos. Another image that was posted showed the former Suits actor stood beside her husband with her hand on her hip. The group appeared to have watched the show from a private balcony in the stadium. The Mirror spoke to body language expert Judy James about some of the footage from the show. She suggested that Harry looks like a man with a lot on his mind at times, saying that he was potentially anxious ahead of upcoming events, which include a trip to the UK and his Invictus Games in Germany. She said, Harry's body language lurches between two extremes at this concert while Meghan's is unmistakably set on happy and fangirl. Her behavior is immersive in all these clips. She added, she is a very good dancer with an apparent lack of inhibitions as she surrenders herself to the music, throwing her hair back in the air and wiggling her butt in a way that implies she would happily join Beyoncé's backing dancers on stage to really give it her all. Harry is soon due to fly to Dusseldorf in Germany for this year's Invictus Games. The Duke helped set up the competition for wounded veterans, which will take place from September 9th to 16. The first day falls the day after the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's death, with Harry not expected to join his family in Britain to mark the occasion. One royal woman no longer has to perform curtsy to anyone, and it's not Kate Middleton. When King Charles was crowned it marked the dawn of a new era for the monarchy and one royal woman in particular no longer has to curtsy to anyone. The coronation of King Charles saw him officially crowned as monarch in a historical display of pomp and pageantry. The eagerly anticipated event marked a period of vast change for the royals following the death of the late Queen and Charles' accession. Already there have been new roles and titles allocated for certain family members with Prince William and Kate becoming Prince and Princess of Wales. But it's not just titles within the family that have changed, there have also been tweaks to the traditions of bows and curtsies. And there is now one royal woman who is no longer required to carry out the gesture. His status as monarch means all family members should bow or curtsy to King Charles, and with Camilla as his queen consort and known as Her Majesty, the likes of William, Kate, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would be expected to bow or curtsy to her too. This also means that Camilla is no longer required to curtsy to anyone in the royal family, although hello. Reports she may still carry out the gesture when greeting foreign monarchs. Before the death of the late Queen, royals were often seen bowing or curtsying in public to her at events such as Christmas Day, Easter or Royal Ascot. Thanks for watching till the end.